If you ask me, these five whiskeys are worth overpaying for. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Bourbon Hunch. Thanks so much for joining me on this journey through the world of whiskey. So I know, even suggesting that you overpay for any whiskey is gonna ruffle some feathers, and I've accepted that. This video though, I do think it covers kind of an important topic, and I'm excited to discuss the certain whiskeys and characteristics in the market that I, from my personal experience, and this is totally based on everything that I've experienced, my preferences, my willingness to pay, yours could be totally different. But these five whiskeys that I've gathered today, for one reason or another, they're worth overpaying for. Whether that's more than MSRP, or it seems like in the market, they should potentially be priced differently. Just also super highly allocated and you know rare stuff should we be overpaying for that i wanted to chat through that with five different whiskeys so let's get into it the first one on the list is one that i don't currently own but would be willing to overpay for pay more than msrp to get so that is going to be stag formerly known as stag jr before it graduated and turned 18 and now it's just known as Stag. This still has a $70 MSRP. It is some high octane juice from Buffalo Trace that people love. I've tasted, I think two different batches, maybe three of Stag Jr. And all of them were really, really good. For $70, I mean, it would be an absolute steal if I saw it for MSRP. I think I'd be willing to pay 100, 125, probably as high as 150 to get a bottle of Stag if I could. So when it comes to the market, you've got the MSRP, which is pretty low here, and then you've got the quality of the whiskey probably being higher than that, and then you've got the rarity of the whiskey adding even more willingness for me to overpay. So 150-ish bucks is where I'd put Stag Junior, and it's basically again personal preference for me but i look at the market and um, for something that rare and that good i would be willing to go over msrp okay so the next bottle on the list which now all the rest of them i do have the actual bottle and can talk about them directly from my experience but the first one is basically craft whiskey and how much the price point there really matters and so for me the bottle i want to talk about is Redwood Empire bottled in bond. So this is the Rocket Top Rye. The MSRP on this bottle is $90. Same for their bourbon, the uh, Grizzly Beast. So for me, you think about it, this is a five-year-old rye. That's as old as it gets in here. And it's 90 bucks. That's a little tough to swallow at times, right? So it's like, okay, should I be paying that much for five-year-old ryes over and over again? Probably not, but this one in particular, from a brand that I really trust, Redwood Empire, and their bottled and bond stuff is super well regarded, and this is great whiskey. It's also a little bit harder to find, a little bit more rare. So for me, this one is worth paying what many would consider an overpriced kind of point there at 90 bucks. I'm willing to pay that for these bottled in bond releases from Redwood Empire because I think they actually do match up to that quality and the limited nature of it makes me want to pull the trigger even at 90 bucks. All right, so the next bottle gets us into another broader category with a specific bottle to talk about and that is store picks. So for me, I've got John J. Bowman single barrel. So first of all, I think the MSRP on John J. Bowman is like 50 bucks, and I'd probably pay more than that just to grab one because it is hard to find around me, so I'd be willing to go up to 65, 70 on a regular basis to grab it. It's also just great juice. This is a store pick from The Party Source in Northern Kentucky. Massive store. They do occasional picks of different things, and this one is phenomenal. So if you have a store near you that you know does great picks and has a great team for that, sometimes it is worth paying a little bit more to get that experience, to get a quality pick from people you trust, than it is to not go after store picks or just stick with 
the standard offering. So I paid, I think, 75 bucks for this. That's a little bit more than maybe I wanted to pay for my first experience with John J. Bowman Single Barrel. But you know what? For a store pick of this is very good stuff, of this quality, uh, definitely worth overpaying for in this instance. All right, the next one is a classic one, but plenty to talk about in terms of the nuances here because each batch is different. And that is Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. So I've got the C923 right in front of me. One of the best bourbons I've ever had. It's 13 years, seven months old, 133 proof. Yep, 133 proof, absolute hitter. One, my best whiskey of the year for 2023. This bottle, I was able to get close to MSRP. I think the MSRP is still 70 bucks. I was able to get it for 80. But given how good this stuff is, I probably would pay 120, 130 bucks for another bottle if I had the chance to get it around that price point. It's just that good. The batch is phenomenal. So the story really is with Elijah Craig, with Larceny, with other batched products. Keep your eyes and ears out. If you hear that a particular batch is a really a home run, it might be worth overpaying for, especially in the instance of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. That $70 MSRP is still pretty much a steal for a barrel strength. Now it's not a 12 year old age statement, but something in that 11 to 13 year old range. That's amazing, it's still a good price. And if it's a phenomenal batch, it's an absolute steal. And it might be worth overpaying to get one of those better batches of the you know, last couple of years, something like a C923. All right, last but not least is one of those big kahuna bottles with a really high MSRP already. That's very difficult to get your hands on, but in my opinion, it's still worth paying for and maybe even overpaying for. And that is Michter's 10 Rye. So this currently has a $200 MSRP, and that is a lot of money to spend on any whiskey. Let's just admit it. That's a lot of money to spend on something that you drink and that goes away and you can't reuse over and over again. You can only enjoy it while it lasts. But this is the best rye I've ever had. It's phenomenal. It tastes like lemon cake and vanilla frosting. And I just love it. And I'm so happy that I have it. So 200 bucks. Yeah, that's a lot. I think the value is there to back that up. If you do see one at MSRP, I would grab it right away. For me personally, I think I'd be willing to pay 250 275 maybe even to get one of these again or to get one of the bourbons you know i just at this quality level and this rarity I, i'm willing to pay a little bit over so in the case of these highly allocated big kahunas some of them are going to let you down some of them aren't really worth overpaying for i have the wild turkey master's keep voyage that i spent 250 or 275 bucks i think the msrp is 275 and it's a 10 year old rum finished bourbon that's pretty good. I don't know if the price point really matches the quality there. I can say for sure with the Michter's 10 Rye, it's there and maybe even worth more than MSRP given how good it is. Okay, that's my list. Include the stag here as well and those are the five. Each for a different reason kind of why I would consider it's worth overpaying for from craft that some people label as that's overpriced to store picks that may be marked up a little bit to great batches to those big kahunas i uh i think this is an interesting topic i would love to hear your opinions in the comments below i'm sure you will share them and i'm excited to start a conversation but i do think that word overpaying is gonna catch some people's eye and maybe you have an opinion about what's worth overpaying for, or maybe you set a limit for yourself, maybe you never go over, over MSRP, would love to know what your philosophy is around grabbing bourbon and adding it to your collection. While you're at it, hit the like button on this video, that's what gets it out to the most people, and then if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel and joining us for 
the rest of 2024 and beyond as we continue to create hopefully more relaxing, fun, great content for you guys. Till I see you guys again for another video, all I can say is keep drinking good whiskey and cheers.